Typically, when a reader is asked what is meant by the setting of a story, the most common response that will be given will be the description of the buildings in the story or elements of nature like rain or snow or even time of day that the story takes place. Although these are true, there are many other elements in four different types of setting that we'll discuss today. Each is important to the story that they are found in and changing any one of them can have a significant impact on the story, which will be discussed here later. Before talking about the different types of setting, it's important to discuss what setting is and why it's important to the story. The setting is the physical location of a story. This means it describes where the story takes place with some of the five senses, sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste, and creates a sense of mood that influences how the reader responds to the story. Some of the common setting elements may include the weather that takes place during the story, the time of day that story takes place, and what time period the story takes place in, whether it takes place in the past, the present, or the future. The setting of the story is important in showing conflict for characters in the story. Internal conflict are conflicts that the characters face inside of themselves and can be seen depending on the setting that they find themselves in. For example, if a character finds him, themselves in a place at night that is unfamiliar to them, they could feel emotions like fear. If a group of characters was stranded on a deserted island, the main character might feel determined to make sure that everyone in that group survives. Setting can also bring about external conflicts that a character could face. From a grizzly bear to a tornado or a tribe of angry villagers to an avalanche and everything in between. The setting of a story can also determine what happens to the protagonist or the main character. In the book Hatchet by Gary Paulson, for example, the main character must survive after a plane crash in the wilderness while battling the weather, difficult geography, and animals that are found in the setting of the story. A common mistake when thinking about setting is that it's only made up of the buildings that are in a setting or the nature that is in that part of a story. These can be a part of any story's setting, but there are several other types as well. In fact, there are four types. The first one is physical setting. This can include the time of day the story takes place, the weather that is happening in the story, or objects that are found in the setting. For example, with time of day, most horror stories and movies take place when? That's right, at night. This setting can add excitement to the story and impact what happens to the characters. Weather can affect these stories by becoming an additional obstacle for the character to overcome. A story that we'll read later this year has thunderstorms that create more difficulty in situations for the characters they wouldn't have had to otherwise deal with. Geographical setting can change the direction that a story takes and 
also what happens to the characters. There's a big difference between a group of characters being lost in an isolated jungle and being lost in the mall. Problems that characters face when a story's events happen at the beach are different from if those events took place in the Rocky Mountains. A third type of setting, one not commonly considered, is the cultural setting. It's a type of setting that focuses on the people and traditions where the story takes place. The clothing that is worn by those people, the economic class of the characters, like high class or middle class or low class people, and even religious beliefs are part of the cultural setting. And as with those other types of setting being discussed, if the cultural setting that a story takes place in changes, so do the events of the story. Think about what would happen, for example, if a story that is supposed to take place in the Old West of the United States of America was instead changed to ancient China. So much of that story changes because the cultures are so dramatically different. The fourth and final type of setting is historical setting. This can include the time period that a story takes place in, historical events that occur during a time period, or major events that happen, such as wars. Jennifer Nielsen, a New York Times best-selling author, has written a series of historical fiction novels for middle school readers. Each one has characters facing struggles that take place at a time of a major historical event. One novel entitled A Night Divided that Jennifer Nielsen wrote focuses on a young girl whose family is separated when the Berlin Wall is built and crossing it means certain death to whoever does. If there is no Berlin Wall ever in history, the events of the story in A Night Divided are never able to take place. Let's take a look at a few ways in which changing something about setting can have an impact on a story. The first thing that can change is where a story takes place. The sinking of the Titanic is a historically famous event. This story took place on the North Atlantic Ocean and happened at night when the ship ran into an iceberg. If the place of the story was to change, the outcome of the story also changes. For example, if the Titanic had not been sailing in the North Atlantic, but instead was sailing in the Caribbean Sea, how would the story change? The story changes because icebergs would not be present in the Caribbean, so one would not have hit the Titanic and therefore the ship would not have sunk. Another way that a change in setting can impact a story is through time of day changes. For example, as mentioned earlier, Take almost any scary movie or story ever made. Most of them take place at night. It greatly adds to the fear factor. If you take away the darkness and the uncertainty that comes with it, the impact on the scary movie is that it might not be scary, as scary, or scary at all. Again, using the example of the Titanic. Happening in the North Atlantic Ocean in the middle of the night. 
if the time of day changes in the story, it dramatically impacts how the story of this tragedy plays out. If this event does not take place in the middle of the night, but instead on a cloudless day at noon, the iceberg could have been spotted and sailed away from, saving the ship and all the lives that were on board. A third dramatic way that a story can be impacted with setting is if the time period has changed. Since history has brought about many new developments in every area of our lives, it's a given that these changes would affect the events of the stories that are written as time passes. The example used here is a story that might take place when early American settlers are heading west toward California, hoping for riches and a new life during the gold rush. In this time period, settlers would have traveled by wagon since the time period it takes place in is the 1850s. But if this example did not take place in that time period, but instead took place in 2021, many things about that story could change. One way that changing the time period of the story could affect the events of it is through the way the characters travel. For anyone who's taken a road trip recently, it's doubtful on their journey that they passed a family traveling down the highway by riding on a horse-drawn covered wagon. That family instead would be making a move across the country, probably using a U-Haul truck for their belongings. The final change in setting that can affect a story is a change in the time of year. It was said earlier in this video that weather is a part of the physical setting of a story, and it can be an important part of that story. Also earlier mentioned were stories that might happen after dark. Sometimes those stories are set on a dark and stormy night. The stormy part can add to the mood of the setting and also affect the events. In the following example, consider a story that takes place in late January, where a character might be stuck in a snowbank in the middle of a blizzard. Maybe the story takes place in late January with a stuck in a snowbank in the middle of a blizzard. If the time of year is changed from late January to the middle of July, how might the events of the story change? The events of a story also might change since in most of the country, snow is not a concern to citizens in the middle of the summer. And therefore, blizzards and snowbanks are not a concern. In conclusion, setting is more than just buildings or if it rains in the story. Setting can be a physical, geographical, cultural, or historical part of the story and changing the place, time of day, time period, or time of year can dramatically change the outcome of a story.